hills down and dales as we hit the dusty trail on the edge we go marching along we are bad we are boss we've got guts that squish and squash army as we go marching along army and then it's high high knee for the end of All right, today I want to take a look at a toy line inspired by ants. Army ants, that is. Now, everybody remembers growing up as a child and stomping on ant hills, or maybe worse, using a magnifying glass to dominate over your little minions. But, God, not these ants. These are army ants. They'll rip your freaking arm off. So, in 1987, Hasbro came up with a line inspired by the terrifying little critters and two armies and the red and blue army that came in eight packs or four packs. They each had their own card on the back that described the five different teams that each army was broken down into, from flamethrower squads to mortar teams, with some ants even shaped like military vehicles, and your own barbed wire and trenches to really fight out an all-out ant war. The army ants were even produced and made over in Europe, and they were called combatinis, where you could buy them in a little jug of eight, or you could buy them individually in different colored packets representing their different squads. All right, now let's take a look at some of the different army ants that I have here. I have five of the little guys, three of the blue team, and three of the orange or red team. And here you have what looks like to be a uh, comms officer. And they're really neat. They have the little rubber uh, thoraxes, the little rubber butts on the bottom. And he's got his backpack with his antenna, and he's like, Help, help, I need reinforcements. I'm getting, getting shot at and about to kill someone, so I'm uh, calling you to let you know I'm shooting at people. And uh, he's got his nice little orange handgun there, and I really like the, uh, the detailing on that. The blue phone, and he's got his green bandolier of bullets, and the backpack, so it really makes them pop out, even though they're kind of all just done like, you know, one orange mold, but there's enough details to where the rest of the character pops out, especially the eyes on these guys. And you can see here with the uh, machine gunner, it looks like he's got a Tommy gun, and their little accessories can pop off, so they're really easy to lose. Uh, he's got his forearms grabbing the uh, machine gun, and he's got his uh, ammo belt across his chest and waist there. And he just looks like he's ready to shoot up the enemy. <laughs> Blasting everybody away. And he's got a really nice uh, silver machine gun there, so very cool looking little figure. And this guy's one of my favorites. Uh, he reminds me of something like out of G.I. Joe or Cobra. Like, look at that creepy mask. And uh, it took me a while to figure out what in the world the antennas were on the top. Because it looks like he has a helicopter. Um, but you can see he's got that little tube where he's like spraying down napalm or, you know, with a flamethrower blowing the enemy away. And you can see what I mean. Like, his antenna really looked like a helicopter up top. But that uh, Cobra Commander style hood over top of him with like those weird creepy yellow eyes. He's a really a uh, creepy looking character. And this guy's one of my favorites just because of the ingenuity behind it. Because he is an actual tank. Um, which is really neat and I think it's a fun looking toy. But what poor fate did this guy suffer to actually be turned into a tank? Like he's not an ant. He is the tank. Like his body has been mangled and turned into this piece of metal now, and his mouth is open screaming, probably saying, Fuck you! Because he's in pain from being twisted into a tank. And if he's a tank, why does he need handguns? It doesn't make any sense. Tanks don't shoot handguns. He should have a cannon coming from the front of his mouth, not two pistols. That's not a very formidable tank. You can see the treads, and he looks really cool, but it, the toy doesn't make a lot of sense. As neat as it looks, I think they could have done a better job uh, molding him into a uh, better tank. And then here we go, we have another uh, machine gunner, but I think this guy is actually kind of like an explosives expert. You can see he has like that red pack around his waist, and it looks like he's carrying a bomb with whatever the heck these two little pegs are. He might be missing an accessory.
all the army ants that I have, I think they're really neat little toys to play with, and they're really awesome to collect for because they're so brightly colored, and there's just so many variations where you see them in helicopters and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the army ants line with me today, and I'll see you back here next week. Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, and if you do the Facebook and Twitter thing, follow me at hashtag KingerRetro. See you next time.